So you have been asked to photograph your first VIP client. Congratulations, it's so exciting. But now what do you do? What do you expect? Today, I'm gonna to share with you some of our top tips for how to deal and photograph a VIP client and the legal considerations that you need to expect. My name is Meredith Rinkars and I am a business coach, marketing strategist, and the owner of The Restart Specialist. So, you've gotten that email and you've been contacted to photograph your first VIP client. It is incredibly exciting, but there are definitely some legal considerations to be aware of. Now, I'm not a lawyer and I don't play one on TV, but there are things that you need to know. We have photographed several VIP clients from government officials and entities all the way to nonprofits and Hollywood clientele. So, first and foremost, they may ask you to waive your copyright. And while we as photographers scream at the idea of losing our copyright, there may be situations where they will not budge on that. And if they aren't willing to budge and they want to own the copyright to those images, you need to make sure you're charging appropriately for the loss of that copyright. Don't just wave it away and say, no problem. Be aware that that copyright is worth something. It's valuable and charge appropriately for it. The next thing is that they may ask you to sign a non-disclosure agreement. Some of our clientele have and some of them haven't really worried about it. But that non-disclosure agreement may be a page, a paragraph, or 10 pages long. To make sure that you're not breaking that non-disclosure agreement, go through it with a lawyer. If you're not sure what that contract is saying, don't blindly si sign away something that you have no clue as to what it's actually saying. And while some non-disclosure agreements have an expiration date on them, for example, when we've hired a second shooter or we've brought in an assistant for a specific event, we have an expiration date on that non-disclosure of what they may learn from us. Your non-disclosure agreement with a high profile VIP client may not expire. So be aware of that. The next thing that you need to know as a uh, photographer for a VIP client or a VIP event is that they may have a very quick turnaround time. I'm not talking a week, I'm not talking two weeks, I'm talking 14 hours or less. And so be aware of that stipulation that they may have and have the systems and the processes in place to be able to handle that. Lastly, when you're photographing a VIP client, that contract may have in it specific things about the size of the images, the quality of the images, and the, your ability to share as well as how you are hosting those images. Some photographers like to watermark their images and in this case with a VIP client, they may state that they don't want you to. Knowing those those specifications for those pictures ahead of time will provide a better client service for those particular clients and actually allow for quicker turnaround time because you're not having to go back and forth between them or their agent um, to fix something that was actually in your contract that you may not have been aware of. As always, when dealing with a VIP client, make sure that you are flexible that you understand the particular specifications for the job and that you are equipped to handle them. If you want more information like this on photography tips and tricks for your business, make sure that you click the playlist in the video. And of course, when you want to be notified for new videos, hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of this great content. Thank you so much for watching.